Hello dear students and welcome to this online class video. This is the third part of 11th chapter area and its boundary of class 5 subject mathematics and I am Jay Prakash. Let's start the class. Now come to today's topic. So today's topic name is relationship between length, width, perimeter and area. So let's understand this relationship. So here we have a table of the length, width, perimeter and area of the greeting cards made by these four friends Sanya, Mana, Arushi and Kabir. But you can see that perimeter area is not given of Sanya's greeting card. Similarly, Mana's greeting card's width and area is missing. Arushi's length, greeting card's length and perimeter is not given here. So we have to find it all. So one by one. Let's try to find it all. So here, come to the first greeting card. It is made by Sanya. So length and width is given 10 cm and 8 cm. So let me make a diagram for it. It's a rectangle because the length is 10 cm and the width is 8 cm. Okay, length and breadth is different. It means it is a rectangle. If length and breadth both will be same, so it will be a square. So find out the perimeter. So let's use the formula of perimeter. So perimeter of a rectangle is equal to it is 2 into length plus breadth. Okay. Using the formula we are trying to find the perimeter. So put the values it is 10 plus 8. Now 2 into 10 plus 8 it is 18. So 18 to the 36 centimeter. You can use the second method and that is perimeter means sum of all side so here length is 10 it means another length will be 10 breadth is 8 so it will be also 8 so 10 plus 10 20 and 8 plus 8 16 so total it will be 36 so sum of all side makes 36 centimeter so you can find the answer in both ways now let's find the area so area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth so length is given 10 and the breadth is given 8 so 10 it is a 80 square centimeter it will be its area so here you can write the answer 80 square centimeter i hope first one is clear now come to the second manav's greeting card so its dimensions are not completely given so length is given 11 cm and perimeter is given 44 cm now you have to imagine that what it may be it may be a rectangle or it may be a square who has all equal sides what it may be so here you have to think if perimeter is 44 cm and length is 11 centimeter so suppose that it is a rectangle okay and let's take its length is 11 centimeter and the perimeter is 44 means sum of all side should be 44 right so if this length is 11 so this length will be also 11 so 11 and 11 22 right so now subtract 44 minus 22 so you will get also 22 so 22 you have to divide uh, if you have to divide by 2 to find the breadth right so 22 when you will divide by 2 so you will get 11 so breadth will be also 11 and 11 so here you can see that it all sides are 11 centimeter right so it will not be a rectangle it will be a, a square so in this way we can find that what shape it is so 11 11 so breadth will be also 11 we can write and perimeter is 44 already given and area so area of a square is equal to it will be uh, side into side it means 11 multiplied by 11 so it will be 121 square centimeter there is another way to find the width okay as we have found the uh, perimeter as we have already it so you can use the formula of perimeter of a square so perimeter of a square is equal to 44 
centimeter it is given so perimeter height of square means 4 into length of one side is equal to 44 now square is equal to 4 is multiplied with side so interchange to the right side it will be divided by 4 so 4 1 ja and 4 1 ja 1 ja so you will get 11 right so s equal to 11 centimeter so there are many ways to find this units width area so in this way we have found the width and area of Manav's greeting card. Now come to the greeting card of Arushi. Its area is given 80 square centimeter and width is 8 centimeter. So which shape it is area means a rectangle or a square. So once again we have to imagine. So come to both shapes. Okay. Now let's suppose that the width is given here 8 centimeter and area is 80 square centimeter so width is 8 centimeter suppose that it's a rectangle okay and uh, its width is 8 centimeter and its area is given 80 square centimeter right so what will be its length if it is a rectangle okay so uh, the length is not given here so we cannot find its area directly but if it is a square okay suppose that it is a square and its length of one side is 8 centimeter it means all sides will be same means 8 8 centimeter so we can we can find it its area so 8 8 ja 64 right area of a square is equal to uh, side into side means 8 into 8 so 64 we will get as area and here the area is given as 80 okay so it means now it is not a square it is a rectangle clear now right area of a square we are going to find the length right so area of a rectangle is equal to it is given 80 square centimeter so area of rectangle use the formula it is length uh, into breadth is equal to 80 so width is given 8 and length is not given so write L only now we are putting the values now we have to find the value of L so right here L is equal to 8 is multiplied with uh, length so we have to interchange to the right side and it will be divided by because here it is multiplied with length so right side uh, it will be divided we will use its opposite operation so length is equal to it will be 10 centimeter okay now the length is 10 centimeter so let's find its uh, perimeter so perimeter of a rectangle is equal to sum of all side you can add so 10 plus 8 plus 10 plus 8 equal to uh, 10 10 20 20 plus 8 28 28 plus 8 it will be 36 centimeter or you can use the formula method uh, perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus uh, breadth is equal to 2 into length is 10 and width is 8 so now it will be uh, 2 into 10 plus 8 it is 18 so 2 multiplied by 18 so 18 to the 36 so 36 centimeter is the perimeter now come to the last question and this greeting card is made by Kabir so perimeter is given area is given 100 square centimeter so suppose that it's a rectangle and its area is 100 square centimeter Okay, and perimeter is 40 area is 100 and perimeter is 40 centimeter so in this condition what will happen the length and breadth will be different in a rectangle but in a square the length and width will be same if it is a square and its area is 100 so what will be its length 
yes we will use the formula of area of a square so area of a square is equal to side into side right it is given 100 so we will write 100 here and side into side equal to 100 so side into side means a square of side so it will be 100 and now side is equal to square root 100 it means it is 10 so, no, but you don't know about the square root so don't mind using the formula of perimeter we can find the length and width but as we have known it is 10 and 10 so let's use the formula for perimeter so perimeter of a square is equal to 40 centimeter it is given right now it is 4 into side is equal to 40 so side is equal to 40 divided by 4 so it is 10 so by using both formula area and perimeter we can find the length and width so it is 10 by 10 of Kabir's greeting card right so in this way the all dimensions means length width and parameters and area we have found using their formulas and uh, by making the diagrams in this way we have known the relationship between the length width parameter and area if length and width is given so we can find its perimeter and area if perimeter of uh, square is given so we can find its length and width so in this way we can find the all units i hope that you have understand this all concepts so now it's time to say goodbye so see you all in the next video till then be safe be healthy jai hind